Evening everyone, how are we all doing tonight? Welcome along. So welcome along to Lewis and to all the lurkers. We are going to take a first look at Grower's Farm tonight. I was going to have the night off, but we have a slight change of plan on that one. So we're going to start where we normally do, and that's down in the shop. So we've got quite a large shop area on this one. Hey Phil, how's it going? So, got a big shop area here. I'll get to what was behind me in a second. Some old grotty texture tractor stuck up the corner here. Lots of space again in the shop for anything. Hey Train Rover, welcome along. So no shortage of space in the shop down here. Hey Liam, how's it going? So everything is uh, well anchored down over this way, a little too well anchored in some places. I think the tarmac was a bit soft when the lorry parked there. I'm good, thanks. Hey Stephen, welcome along. Just one small little thing. Um, yeah, I think the soil has got a little bit too much helium in one end of it down there. Everything else is not too bad down here. So we'll have a little drive round on here. We'll end up in the farmyard last. All good here, thanks. So we'll just have a little drive round and see what we can find. Hey Irish Gaming guys, how's it going? And I will say I have already had a look round this this afternoon to know roughly where to go. One thing I did notice down the shop was the John Deere sign, just a little bit fuzzy. So we'll head up this way for now. Get a chance to see the layout of the map a little bit. Quite a nice feel to this map as you're driving around it. Oh well, SG. Never mind. So we're heading down this way. We have a fuel station there. Which, uh, if we want to get anything big in, we might struggle as you can see. One or two bits in here. Might just turn the traffic off in a minute if that's going to cause trouble as we're driving around. Don't reckon much to the fuel prices personally, but... Uh... <coughs> so we've got a garden centre there. cell points up on the left which is what we're heading up this way for now you're just awkward SG we know the real reason so head down into our growers grain and BGA down here uh, I'm not sure if that's using more than the ones I've got in or in game at the moment, Stephen. One thing I will say is the yards are not exactly very level in places on here. As you can see. So we've got high level BGA down here, not one we can tip straight into. Gonna need some a bit of height to get into there. So we sort of come round. Again, we've got nothing floating, which is a good start. Yeah, standard size map. 
Not yet fast farming. I've got a road cone stuck in the soil of this clamp wall, though, by the looks of it. That's yeah, supposed to be there. So we've got two nice big clamps there with our grain cell point. See, nothing is uh, levitating above the ground down here. It may well have its own grass texture file then. I haven't looked through the map folder yet to see. Again, something which uh, I have noticed one or two of the vehicles dotted about have still got logos on them, which is interesting. Hmm, not doing too badly. 74 acres of grass dropped. Yeah, there's some good detail on here. I'm not going to fault it for detail levels. Uh, be a map I think we can do something with. Does just need a couple of fixes done first. Just watch out for the drunk drivers. Why does the sunflower field annoy you then? So let's just have a look at something here with this gate. I forgot to put the enhanced driving mod on here again. So I've got no shuttle control. Very good at doing that. Gate post slightly through the wall there. There's a reason I'm looking at that gate, and I'll explain in a few moments when we get somewhere else on here. There is a reason for that. Ah, I see. So, guessing by what you're saying, the field depths are slightly off then. I think we need to go down the bottom there. So, we'll head up this way. I think the turkey's slightly mad with us at the moment, train rover. He put don't disturb, but uh, his teammates on the Discord MP just thought he said disturb him. So we might have tagged him multiple times where you couldn't see in Discord. So just a little yard down here. Nothing any great significance in this yard. Another vehicle sort of stuck through the ground there. Homework I believe. Yeah I can't imagine which one of us um, tagged him the most in that little setup Milton. It'd be wrong of the actual owner of the discord to tag him about 40 times in one message. I wouldn't do a thing like that to one of my uh, members. Something I did notice down here, we've got this lovely sliding gate here, but it seems to be uh, ever slightly embedded in the barn. So I ain't going very far. It's not a working gate. Okay, it's cutting through the wall that side as well. Can't imagine why he'd do that, Milton. Might have been a bit more than that to be fair, Lewis. Might have been. Lost count how many times I copied paste. Lots of little roads here. Coming down this way, we have our horsey yard. Discord link should appear right before your very eyes. Coming to the horse yard, we've got an effigy of um, Tim there. Good likeness, apart from it's a bit too slim for him. So, 
looking around the yard here. Nicely detailed horse yard. Okay, and got a gate post stuck through the wall there. Nothing too major in that one though. Good luck in getting in the back doors to that shed if you ever needed to. Which it was not a working shed. Obviously the stable's there as well. No collisions on the hedges, I can walk straight through them. Strange grass growth there. The middle of the field is slightly further forward than the uh, rest of it. So we'll leave the main farmyard to last. We'll go around the uh, pig farm and other places first. <coughs> as long as we don't drive off into the edge of the map somewhere which is getting close we'll have to go cross country I'm not sure what a dolphin ornament is doing in the garden down there sort of a smallish yard down here which is basically just a storage yard it's not serving any purpose as a main farm or anything it's a nice little yard if you want to use it elsewhere we have a scrap zeta up the corner there <coughs> not a lot of space in this one but could be used for food bits and pieces, I guess. Oh yeah, lots of detail on it. No shortage of detail around there. Same with this little bit over here, little bit in the corner here. If I was going to do anything in this corner, I'd get this in GE and just clean this out so I could use it for storing my own stuff. So we're sort of coming to a dead end up here, I believe. So it's the edge of the map down here, so there's no actual road to get round from this end. Which is a bit annoying, so I just cut round like that. So it is using my crop density XMLs on there. Looking at that. And FPS wise, 60, that's going to dip there because that's got my modded densities in there so that'll hit that with the oats with the detail the evening I guess farming how are we doing Let's see if we can find a little track somewhere Quite a large wooded area here. Well, I'll say for the wooded area, I would have liked to see the woodland ground texture in it, personally. Not just plain grass. So we dumped Fergie in there. Too good a condition to be dumped.
sort of the back of our main yard here, so I'm trying to stay away from it for a few more minutes. Do the pig farm first. So we need to just get around the other side of that pond. Have to do a little bit of off-roading with the Land Rover to get there. Ever seen Land Rover drive on water before? You have now. It's one of the new lightweight Defenders drives on the surface. yard at the moment. And I'm not going to try it just how slippery it is. So we're not going into the main yard just yet, I'm saving that bit. So head up here where there's another cell point. Cotton one there, spinnery. So just head towards the sawmill, then we'll come back towards the pig farm. Got some nice big fields on here. So I think we'd probably be doing something on here on the channel. Not sure what yet. We've got sort of our older machinery one on Shamrock. So might be we look at doing something bigger machinery on here. So we've got our sawmill here. Evening Thomas, how you doing? Many notifications in Discord? So nothing is levitating above the ground on here, so we're doing well. So far so good. Or oh, did I speak too soon? Nope, just one end of it. Something weird going on with them textures there. Yes, Mr. Turkey, have you got a few notifications? We thought you said disturb as you're doing homework, so we tried to do it. By the time we realised you meant do not disturb, it was too late, we'd already put those tags in. Almost. Bit of a bad join in the road there. So we come out. Try hard the next time to be annoying. <clears throat> D 
dare ask what brother's car was doing in a ditch and how it got there. In and dive ties gone. Let's find the piggy farm then. That would be here. We're going very uneven farmyard up here. Complete accident, Thomas. We did not mean to tag you. 60 or 70 times between us. It's a complete accident. Got some heavy wood there bogged down in the ground. Some greenery cutting through the building there. Oh dear. Stressful days are not good. Couple of nice little storage yards there, buildings. Some more trees cutting through the barn there. It's a bit more level with the buildings than what Peterville was, which is good. <coughs> Not sure about the gate cutting through the uh, corner post of the barn there, though. Again, not sure about the gate post in the middle wall on that one either. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That one ain't too bad. Sure about that one uh, going through the barn wall, but... <clears throat> Not too bad, really, on this one. Other than there's a couple of gate issues there. Not quite sure how tall the pigs are to need them barriers across the top, but... More the uh, pig trough through the wall there. They seem very tall in here. Hey Jamie, I'm good thanks, how are you doing? Right, that just leaves us one more yard to go into then. Hey MJ. How are we doing? I thought so we could put sheep in there so they didn't escape when you were running after them, Nathan. I'm good, thanks. going past the turn I wanted. Mainly because I can't read signs. There's supposed to be something on that one, MJ. A bit of a blank sign there. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm now going into the main yard, so you probably already know what I'm going to see in there. No, I haven't um, looked up that chassis there, fast farming. <clears throat> right, so down in the main yard here. Give us plenty of starting kit, that's for certain, MJ. Which one, Thomas, we put a few in earlier? Yeah, so... <clears throat> I'm presuming you're already aware of your little... Uh, mishap there then MJ a slight issue with the uh, gates on the building at the moment for those who want to use this yard so you just have to sort of uh, gloss over what's going on with them ah <clears throat> so let's put bigger gates in the size than what you actually uh originally intended has it whoops <laughs> I mean, it also shows how well uh, Giants actually looked at it for that one doesn't it but they didn't flag it up on there Nice little yard though. Might just want to earth the uh, grain intake out a little bit. Bring that back down to earth. I'm good, thanks, Ogan. How are we doing? Presume there's a few little uh, texture issues with the main gates. Was the what you use an MJ to have them replace them? But on the plus side, I've not found any floaty trees on here, so we're doing well. You know how good I am at finding floaty trees. Something I did notice earlier. Well, what's sort of sticking out off the side of these uh, railings here? Bit of a if you start asking that sort of thing, yours will go the same way, James. Hey Lee, how are we doing tonight? So I noticed on the cup then there's that sort of a uh, little bit sticking off the side which I presume is meant to be a hinge when they're attached otherwise something hasn't quite um, textured across properly has it there Alright, so what I will do is pose the same question to chat as we did with Shamrock. What would you like to see me do on this one? So, if I get the shop up, we can have a look at what MJ has actually given us on there. MP, I can't do another MP fast farm. We've got two now. I just can't do another one on here. What is that horrible blue thing there? Can't even bring myself to look at that thing. 
So we have a horrible V number thing there. A Fent, John Deere, New Holland Combine, of course. <clears throat> Is there something charge rules about needing the New Holland Combine on maps? Seems it appears on every single map going. Careful fast farming, that's fighting talk. Saying they're nice little tractors. So, plow, cultivator, drill, mower, tether, rake, baler, feeder wagon. True Nathan. So, no shortage of kit in here, as we can see. So, I presume this is all set up for seasons, is it, MJ? Just double check before I uh, do the deed with it. Little drill looks lost in here. Evening 1174, how are we doing? Why not, Nathan? It's perfect size combine for Metagrove. Why not just put the 8900 on there if people had the DLC? Right, so let's save this and put seasons in then. So I know that's what you guys want to see, as per normal. Now it can't be that mean, Tiernan. Mm, yeah, doing a beef farm on um, Shamrock though as well. So that'd be two. <clears throat> so can't really have two series running with the beef cattle on. So many mods to scroll through here. Which is why that's hidden so you guys can't see what's in there. Well, it's put to the chat members at the time I asked Farman when I done the look round. And everyone wanted to see a beef farm on there, so that's what we've got. Might just need to adjust the spawn in point, MJ. Seem to be a little bit elevated into the mantelpiece for some reason. <clears throat> Quite sure what I'm stood up on there when I spawn in, but I'm a little bit uh, up in the air, shall we say. Right, so we now have seasons in. You guys to see. A small farm with two thousands below. What are you on about, Tiernan? Seem to be uh, turning a bit white here. He gives a nice big snow mass down in the yard here. Very big snow mask.
So obviously this is um, we're going to eight o'clock tonight, or just before. So we got the yard masked up, but not the road outside up. So you might have slightly overdone the snow mask there. Are they icicles hanging there? The snow mask might just need shrinking a little bit, to be fair, in that yard. It's quicker to run than it is to use the uh, Land Rover. what everyone else thinks about it. snow masking that yard you know the guys who are going to be flying it as well try to get run over you'd hate to see that I know I would say we're probably more likely to do sheep on this one or dairy as we're doing beef elsewhere sheep or dairy I think would be the options So you've got plenty to do with clearing the roads on here. Sheep. Don't say that word too many times, Nathan is in chat. Looks like a nice little water feature down here. Wouldn't test the theory of how many silly aunts she'll get away with. I'm not sure what mood Milton's in at the moment. Let's go for a swim in the cold water, shall we? Ooh, you've got this uh, stuff for real then. Did they get the weather forecast right? Could be annoying when I actually get it right for once. A bit snow free in the village here. Oh, no funny headstones.
I think the hose pipes might be a bit frozen up around this way. Ah, oh, that's where accountants buy the fins from. You can get it from this place, can you? You usually got one growing out the middle of the back. Accountants and solicitors. We'll be running like this on snow reel. The washing's a bit cold. So for those that want to clear the roads, well I think you've got your work cut out on here. I think that wheelbarrow's defying gravity there. Basically going around in a circle heading back to the farmyard now. So you're all saying you want to see me do a series involving sheep with oh, this one then? At the moment. So sheep and arable this time. PDA, hold on. Just get rid of the. I am not doing a poplar, I would not have thought. It takes so long. Snow be gone. I know you guys love it when I come in amongst trees. Especially with seasons on, because you usually know what happens next when I have a walk through the woods. Yeah, as I say, all I would say about the forest is I would like to see the forest ground texture and not just plain grass. That's from a personal point of view. On my left. I'm trying to remember, you're f you are about 20 seconds behind me. There we go. Dirt bike track. Hmm. Dirt bike defender. Dirt bike defender. You know what's coming next. I forget what map I've done that on. I think you're disappointed everyone in chat, MJ, I can't find a floating tree and they hate it when I can't find floating trees. You sport their fun. Oh, no, we're safe. Yeah, I've found one now. Just on the edge of the pond. Hey, Welka still retains the record. No two ways about that, Welka's got the record. Right, let's get the defender then. We've got another effigy of Tim there. Tell he's not lurking, he's not sworn at me yet. Yeah, I can't get enough speed with the uh, Vulture. 
I like the way you didn't say it now in chat because you know what's going to happen to you if you do. <coughs> if all we can find is one floating tree with the amount of trees you put on here, we're doing well. Even Greenwich has got a lot of floating trees on it once you turn seasons on. Ah, the Polaris Razors. Yes, we await Welker's release again for the third version. Don't think I've still got them in the mod folder. Oh, Landro went over it all right. Who said it's for dirt bikes? Land Rovers do it just as well. We might need a new back afterwards, but the Land Rover does it. I've not turned it over yet. There you go. Who needs a dirt bike? You can do it with a Defender. Not that I'm aware of. Tree. Don't think I'd do the chassis and suspension a lot of good doing that with this in real life, but there we go. So, PDA then. There we go, 1174. And you're saying to me there's a Land Rover chassis up there somewhere. Ah, that one. Yes, um, I see exactly what you mean now, Fast Farming. I think you might have something there what needs moving, MJ. <laughs> oh, Giants missed that. see about getting something recorded on here over the next few days I can't do shamrock every day and I'm not exactly finding too many mods I want to do reviews of at the moment the mind boggles MJ had you been at the old um, Christmas spirit at the time have interest I mean, it's not like it's bright white or anything, and you can stands out like a sore thumb. Yeah, if you think some of the map first looks I've done by now, how much floating stuff we found, we've done well. One blank sign: the gates, a floating tree, and the Land Rover chassis. And fairly steady FPS.
Oh, and the floating silo in the shop here. Slightly floating silo, I should say. This end of it. No worries. Good map, though. Uh, yeah, the odd sinking truck and car was sort of sunk in the ground in a place or two. All sort of simple things, what you're fixing in a few minutes, aren't they? Hey Alexander, you're sort of coming right towards the end where I'm going to be finishing though. Yeah, you might as well ask the question, what is the situation going to be with console, MJ? Because we know what's, uh, what the main question is going to be, everyone wants to know. So the uh, canola stubble isn't hitting the FPS, luckily. Would do if it's still growing with my uh, updates in here. Oh, that's alright with Fast Farm, we just had the Land Rover chassis moment. in with testing is it still so I can pretty much guarantee what some of the questions will be under this video when it goes out anyone think there's a sort of a abundance of scrap Z is in this neck of the world hey Sam how are we doing Okay, another one who's joined right towards the end. Okay, cash later, then. Ah. Now it's got to go in for testing, has it? And we'll see how you get on with that one. I'm good, thanks. What are you guys up to in my Discord? It's a good job I'm not in voice chat at the moment. Right, so that's where we'll be leaving it for tonight. We'll be back on an MP tomorrow night, I'd imagine. Everything being well. Um, we could put some gaffer tape over Turkey's mouth so he can't uh, swear again live on the stream. No, I haven't, MJ. Which post is I looking for? So we've got the uh, Wanted 135, which is missing. Several Wanted 135 po pictures. Ah, all those uh, Wanted posters you've got up in here. Yes. Remember, you're on strike one, you only get two strikes. Right. That is where we're going to finish for tonight. So for now, I'll pop a link into chat for today's video. So I'll say thank you for watching the stream tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. So we'll be back tomorrow night with an MP again. Probably the Greenwich one, but we will see. But for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Catch you all again later. Goodbye for now.